Hello, welcome to tonight's live sizing and styling guide. If you are catching this part, you are probably catching the replay. Make sure to comment, hashtag replay. Let us know that you were here and that you saw this. And if you are hopping on while we are live, say hey. It is Wednesday, our favorite day. We are here. We're here. We're here. A couple minutes late, but we're here. We're always a couple minutes late. <laughs> we have been a couple minutes late for quite a while, though. If anybody expects any differently, they must be new. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How is everybody's Wednesday? Yes. How was your day? We hope it is well. <sighs> we had a busy day over here. And... Just got back. We ran to my son's baseball game. <laughs> so we were trying to scramble to get done in time to prep everything to be able to go to a baseball game this evening. And it started raining and it was like, okay, it's our time to go. It's kind of perfect timing, like when it really started to rain. So it really was. And they were tied when we left with one inning to go and they ended up winning with one run. Yes. It was an awesome game. So fun to see. All right. Well, let me start to get this sun all over. We'll get started, you guys. We have all kinds of fun stuff. We've got some more Americana goodies for you. It is, um, you know, a few weeks, just a few weeks, less than a month until 4th of July. Thank you. Less than a month. Less than a month until 4th of July. So we have some new goodies for you, as well as some new things for Father's Day. And, of course, just other good goodies, so. There's a little bit of a theme, but when I look <laughs> at the rack, it's not a whole theme. No, we have a little bit of a theme, that's right. Oh, yay, you won tonight, too. Congratulations, that's always fun. It is always fun. Yeah, we have started, like, baseball's kind of crazy for us anyways because we do travel ball and Little League. And now um, my son's Little League team is playing in counties, and then he made all-stars, and we still have travel ball that we're doing. So, like, the whole calendar for the month of June and the beginning of July are, like, baseball, baseball, baseball. Um, but we love it. So it's fun to watch them and, and all that. Wouldn't trade it, but it definitely makes for – craziness <laughs> uh, so say hey you guys as you hop on christina's of course here to greet you if she can keep up hello hello sometimes she can't keep up um but let's see i think i have this most places so i'm gonna send our a little push notification and if you guys are new thanks for hopping on i'm just doing my little bit of work here um uh, before we get started so let me share this. I don't think anything crazy has changed. You know, normally, no. normally we start like, oh my gosh, everything's so different. It actually seems to be smooth right now. I shouldn't say that. Like <laughs> setting us up. Um, Ashley, it is a hello. surprise. It's a beer, but not a beer. <laughs> it's a beer, but not a beer. We will for sure <laughs> show you what is back there. It's oh. not our taste test for the night. That's what you're asking. <laughs> yeah, we might all we might feel sick if we did that. <laughs> William is liking the beer cans. He's going to like them even more when he sees what they really are. <laughs> yeah, and then um, our little gnome gained some uh, sunglasses for the night. Yes, Ian added the patriotic sunnies. He said it was a necessity. <laughs> it's a necessity accessory. Yes. Okay, let me send this, you guys, and then I think we are ready to get started. All right. Well, that is sent, and we are good. Say hello. Um. <laughs> oh, I was just reading. Um, 
I was just reading a message from Jordan. Um, all right, you guys. Well, if you are new, thank you for joining us. And if you are a regular, thank you for being here with us. It is our favorite day. It is a Wednesday when we release new goodies to you. Um, if you're new, let me give you the rundown of how this works. This is a live sizing and styling guide. So you sit back, relax, enjoy the live. All of the new goodies that are shown tonight are going to release to our website and our app immediately following the live. So no need to claim throughout, register, none of that stuff. This is not live shopping, this is a live. Let's show you everything that's new and talk about the fits fabrics and all the details of these new goodies. And then you can shop at your leisure um, as soon as the live has ended. So if you have questions throughout the live, feel free to post them in the comments. Christine usually tries to respond there if she can keep up with them. Um, if we miss something, feel free to shoot us a message on our business page because there we can uh, respond to you, make sure to get you an answer to your question. Um, and if you're catching the replay, it's always a good idea to message us anyways if you have questions because we can't always find them back in the feed after the live has ended. So. That's a super good point for replayers. If you comment on the replay, if you comment like hour and 37 minute in, we have to watch for an hour and 37 minutes to find your comment. It doesn't. Yeah, take it's hard to, to just say like, it. what's the fabric content of that shirt or what size are you in? We don't know what you're talking about. So it's a good idea to like mention maybe what your question is about. Or snap a screenshot. Yeah, even screenshots. If you miss the even name. though we don't look good in screenshots. <laughs> Some, sometimes they're funny. Sometimes we quite enjoy them, but snap a screenshot of that and send it directly to the business page because then we can tell we feel really bad when we see those questions pop up but we're not sure which item it's regarding yeah and we don't know how to answer that yeah so yes be sure to let us know what you are asking about specifically um and if you're new i'm rachel i'm about a size six eight eight I need to just start saying an eight for right now until I start eating better. Um, but baseball, we're on the road all the time. I'm like, all we do is eat out. Um, so I wear about a, a small on top. We make it very clear if I'm not in a small. I wear a medium in Judy Blue shorts or a seven in Judy Blue jeans for reference. So I'm about a, a street size eight. Um, again, if you have questions about sizing, feel free to ask us. We will certainly let you know um, whatever answers we can give you. But I think we're good to get started. Is there, I don't think there was anything there was I had to kind of special. talk so, about. Outfit number, number one, one heading your way. All right. Well, let's see. First up, you guys, this fabulous new hoodie. We have a few festive ampersands for you. I love them. This one is called the Ampersand Avenue Full Zip. We love a good full zip. Um, made in the USA is the name of this one. It's available in extra small through 3X. I am shown in the small. This bad boy is triple stretch, extremely comfortable, and true to size. It is a very, very true red. I feel like everything's reading a little bit yellow right now, and it could just be red sometimes does that. Blacks and reds make read a little differently on the camera. So it is a true red. It has a gray hood on the inside. Oh, I love, you know, we love to always see what the ampersand um, little catch line is here. It says red, white, and cute um, <laughs> on the inside. And then this one has this cute, I know it's going to be backwards for you, but it says made in the USA on the back. And then ha in white, and then has the little blue, oh, where am I pointing? Has the little blue stars there <laughs> in between. So just a cute little detail. Um, these are, all ampersands tend to be the same fabric content. However, we know that the stretch, stretch sometimes is different. This They're 95% cotton, 5% spandex, lots of stretch. These don't shrink. However, we do recommend hanging to dry. Um, but even if you were to throw it in the dryer, they don't shrink. So that is a great de detail about them. This one has thumb holes. I love that the thumb holes are red. So if you're not a thumb hole wearer, they really blend in. It's not like you have a big hole in your sleeve that's visible. So if you're not a thumb hole person, um, you can wear it without using the thumb holes and it blends right in. So I really like that. Um, and of course it has pockets on the side, the little leather detail, and it's just fabulous ampersand per the norm for them. So this one is new and releasing tonight and I have it layered over a cute new tank. So let me tell you the details about this one. So this tank is called the Stars Will Shine Muscle Tank. 
this one is powder blue. You might see it tonight in another color. You might. Um, you might. <laughs> so this one is powder blue. I really like it because it's a little bit different. We're used to like bright, bright blue um, for, you know, most things that are red, white, and blue. So if you like something a little bit more subtle, this is a really pretty powder blue um, with the stars and on this one. And this is a nice stretchy tank. Definitely a little bit straighter cut, more fitted side, but not real snug. So I'm still shown here in the small. I would stay in the size. I would not size up in it. I like the back. Um, of course, my bra is like sitting wide, but you can wear your regular bra with it. It's not like it's um, cut in like a, a racer back. So you can wear a regular bra with it. It does have a curved hemline on the front and on the back, um, but gives you a little bit of bum coverage. So this is a cute one that you can layer. You can wear by itself. It's really perfect for any time of the year. Um, and... Let's see, fabric content, 63% polyester, 33% rayon, 4% spandex, and it is soft. It is a very, very soft tee. So true to size would be my recommendation. If you like a roomier fit, I don't think it would hurt to size up. Armholes are nice. So even if you went up a size, it's not going to drop that, you know, too low to be showing off bras or anything like that. So these, this one is fabulous. Paired it here with a fun little earring. These are not new and launching tonight, but they are in our America collection um, that uh, previously launched. You can find that on the website. It's in the featured collections, America the Beautiful. Uh, you can find there that has all of the red, white, and blue earrings that we currently have in stock. Uh, but these are just a really fun one, that double layer, and you get that metallic and glitter and all that jazz all in one. So those are there. And we have a new pair of Judy Blue shorts. These are the Judy Blue Lightly Distressed Shorts. Man, it's so yellow. Do you see it so, being so yellow for you on screen? Uh, Back, it looks so cream. I don't yeah. know why it's so yellow right now. Um, but it could just be, I guess, the light from outside too. It's so dark because it's raining. So these are the Judy Blue Lightly Distressed Shorts. Um, they are a 10 and a half inch rise. So that's going to be how high they're going to hit. They're hitting me right at the top of my belly button. Um, and a 3.75 inch inseam. So 3.75 inches here for the total inseam. They do have a little bit of a frayed edge along the bottom and then some light distressing. So they don't have real big holes in them, just a little bit of a distress detail little bit on the back pocket here, but otherwise true to Judy Blue sizing. Nice stretch to them and true to size. I'm in my normal medium and love them. And I threw on the Encore and I wanted to scope these out. So I'm an eight and a half or nine. And typically in the Encore a sandal, I do an eight and a half. However, um, we're sold out at eight and a half. And so I threw on the nine and they are a good fit as well. So if your size is sold out in these, typically it doesn't hurt to size up half a size um, in them. It just is going to give you a little bit more room around the edge of your foot. But I'm very comfortable here in the nine as well. Like I said, I normally do the eight and a half, but going up that half size doesn't seem to make them way too big or anything like that. So these are, I don't think I gave you an up close look. These are our fun navy stars um, and they look a little bit like a denim with a star detail to them. So they are super cute and comfy and they just have the best like cushy sole on them. So they're definitely a comfortable sandal, but I think that covers it. I'm going to change real quick. So it's when you get close to the camera, I think it's focusing on that color blue. Oh, that it shades. We've been watching. So right been, now, is it whiter? Um, yup. When you leave, it goes back to white. I and mean, even when you stepped back, I think so it's just it's, that shade of blue. That maybe let's adjusting. see when I come out here. Yeah, because it's totally back to normal now. Weird. Maybe it's just my face. <laughs> it's just my Maybe face. it's just my face. Um, but yeah, sometimes you guys, when I take photos in things, yeah, see, it's still good. It must have been the blue. Um, but sometimes when I take photos, even like certain colors make it do that. So like hot pinks are really hard to photograph and keep that true color because the camera does something weird trying to focus in on it. Reds are tough. Um, and blacks always do a little bit of a funky thing. Okay, let's see. Next up, you guys, another fun little um, little combo here. I'm like, what word was I going to say? Um, these cute earrings. I love the size of these. I think they're such a fun statement earring in your red, white, and blue glitter stars. So again, these are not new and launching today, but they're on the site where y'all can snatch them up. And I have it paired here with the... Liberty and Justice tank available in small through 3X. Look at how fun this one is. Again, this one does have a little bit more of that racer back cut to it. 
you know, if you wear a nude bra, I don't think it's that big of a deal. However, uh, we do sell the Racerback bra clips. And you guys, if you haven't seen these on a live before, we love them. They come in a little three pack, three different colors. Um, and it actually like clips to your bra and just pulls your straps together in the back, right? Like kind of in the middle. And so that way you can keep your regular bra. You don't have to go buy a special Racerback bra or one that can transition. You can wear your regular bra and clip your straps together in the back with these little clips. Um, and they won't, they won't be seen in the style tank that does have that little bit of a wider cut for the shoulder blades. So love these. They're on the site. If you just search like racerback or bra clips, you should be able to find them. Um, cause again, like I said, those aren't new today. There's something we keep in stock and they're just fabulous to have on hand. So the Liberty and Justice tank available in small through three X. Um, again, I'm shown here in the small this has nice stretch. It's a nice lightweight. If you live somewhere warm, you're going to love the weight of this. It's 96% rayon, 4% spandex. Um, and it is the obviously red and white stripe, little blue and um, white star pocket here, and then the blue and white back. Obviously, I already turned around, so you saw that. But this is just a fun one as well. A little bit again, I'd say a little bit straighter cut. You don't have that A-line cut to it that's giving you a real flowy tank. True to size would be my recommendation. Um, but if you like a roomier fit or if you float between sizes and you're like, hmm, I just want to be sure that I have enough room in my midsection. I don't like things to hug. Going up one should be okay. And again, armholes on this are nice so that I don't think it's going to drop down too low. You shouldn't have to worry about um, that being an issue showing your bra in that area. So super cute, extremely comfortable, perfect for 4th of July. Um, and we still have Labor Day coming and just summer, summer support our country, right? Rock it. Where did Christine yes. said she went to a store and somebody complimented her, um, like flag shirt. Yeah. Oh, I know. Hold on. They want to see how oh. the bra clips work. Okay. So this how is kind you? of a, this is kind of a tag team when we're out here on camera. So I'm, you know what? I'm going to do it over her shirt just so that you can see what you want to do is extend your bra strap as far as possible, but for demonstration purposes and not keeping you here all night, we're not going to do that. So it's this little like figure eight, you loop in the one side and then you pull the other. This is gonna make it really tight on her. And then you just loop in the other side, just like that. You can do it before you even put your bra yeah, on. Yeah, I do it sometimes in the front and then like turn my bra around and then put my straps yeah. on. So it's just this little figure eight, extend your strap as long as possible. You can go ahead and get okay. changed while I rattle. And they come in this little three pack that has the nude, a black, and a clear. So depending on what you're wearing, what color you're wearing, what you wanna hide, you've got those different options for it. Yeah, like if you're wearing a white tank and you don't wanna have a black yes. you know, connector, you can do the clear or the nude. Yeah, they're super fabulous. Patricia, everything will be launched to our website, www.shoprachelclark.com and to our app as soon as this live ends. So everything that you see tonight is a brand new collection, all launching. So just sit back, relax, enjoy what we're showing you. Feel free to ask any questions about sizing. Rachel is a 6'8". She's saying eight. she's an 8 today. Eight. I'm a 14, <laughs> 16. So if you want to see anything on Curvy, I'm happy to pop it on and come out. But it will all be on the website as soon as we end. Thank you for the hair. My girl Kateri just rocked it out last night. She said I needed a little more blonde for summer and I'm feeling a little Cruella and that makes me happy. <laughs> I am not upset about that at all. All right, let me get you a comment. All right. Yeah, isn't her hair pretty? She said she had to learn today, though, to part it on the other side. It's always yes. hard. Have you tried to part your hair on the other side? Like, I always, my hair is parted here. Like, I can't even, like, attempt. It just is, it just is, you know. So, she's like, I'm going to sit and learn. I'm going to have to learn to I'm part it the other way. I'm going to have to learn <laughs> how to do it. Um, all right, you guys. Next up, yeah, is the Love It All Col Color Black Top. This is available in small through 3X. 
Um, and this one is kind of cool because it has some mixed materials. I love this little like detail on the pocket. So it has some of those reverse seams on it so we can see um, the stitching on the outside a little bit, but it just gives it a little bit of detail. This is really like a light peach tone is what colors you get in this one. You can see like the stripes vary a little bit in color. Um, this is uh, like a thermal type of material, not that warm, heavy thermal, not like it's you're wearing long, long johns, but that um, thermal texture that waffle knit texture. Um, and then there's the little cuff in the sleeve, which has that contrasting material. Drop shoulder on this, so it definitely is a relaxed fit up top, and it's relaxed in the midsection. So I'm shown in the small, um, and this would be one if you float between sizes, I'd say you could go down one. Now, I don't feel like I'm swimming in this by any means, so staying true to size, if you like a relaxed fit, it's a good idea. If you want things a little more fitted, then you can go down one. I like to do a little front tuck with some of them that seem a little long or a little bit roomy. Um, however, this this one is not exceptionally long. Totally fine with shorts. I never, I don't feel like it makes me look like I'm not wearing pants. So that's what we're always after. But just a nice v-neck on this one. Um, it's very comfortable. I really like it. I like the peachy tone, a little bit different than what we normally see. Fabric contents, 85% polyester, 10% rayon, 5% spandex. Uh, so I think that covers this one. I'm still in the same, still in the same shorts that I was in. And then I threw on because they're just so comfortable. This one is the Venus. Is that right? Um, is that the platform? No. no. Yeah, that's the Venus. So this yes. is the Venus. Um, <laughs> Venus. I almost thought I said something wrong there. <laughs> um, this is the Venus and it is just like a canvasy material in a tan, a great neutral. And then it has this fun foot bed on it. It does have a little bit of an arch support built into there. Um, lightweight, flexible, and you can adjust the straps on it. So it's just a, a fun one. Um, I'm an eight and a half or nine. I do the eight and a half of these, but again, like the Encore, I could go up a half size and just get a little bit more room around my toes and it not be an issue um, at all. Like to just have that little bit of an extra, extra bit of room. So quite true to size on this top and I'm going to go change again. You are, y'all, I made a boo-boo and I didn't pull that top for myself oh, and oops. I checked it in today so I know where it is <laughs> so as soon as I get Rachel her next comment I will run and grab one and then I'll just be out in outfit behind <laughs> you know go figure trying to get my own stuff ready and then I just don't so I will I will be out <laughs> I will just be slightly delayed just slightly all right. Just one outfit behind. Oh, I didn't put earrings on with that last oh, top. Oh, my Did goodness. I? All right, I'm going to pop the comment up now so that I can go run. Okay. And I'll be back. I'm going to get my third just a moment. Um, all right. Man, it's rainy out. This window is just soaking wet. Um, okay, next up, you guys. Of course, like we said, we have some great 4th of July goodies for you, but we have a mix of other things as well. Oh, sometimes I need to look in a mirror before I come out here, huh? Because I, <laughs> my shirt's all twisted. I'm a mess. Okay, next up to, is the Lazy Pool Days Graphic Tee. This is available in small through 3X. Um, I love this one, just Lazy Pool, and I love the pool, how it has that, like, fun... Um, a little like kind of graphics to it. So lazy pool days. I'm shown here in the small, and this is one of those, we talked about these before. So this is a unisex t-shirt or a tank. And with those, they are not cut to allow for, you know, for women's shapes. So they sometimes like lay a little bit funny. So this is where we talk about super cute over a swimsuit, throw it on, no big deal. Um, I have it layered over one of our seamless tanks in the hot pink. This is the reversible tank that is a V-neck on one side, uh, curved on the other side so you can wear it either way. I like to layer it that way. Um, I'm shown in the small. And if you were going to wear it over a swimsuit, this would be one you could size up one to give you a little bit extra room and a little bit more length if you wanted to wear it more as like it's just around the pool with a with um, you know, without wearing shorts or that kind of thing with it. So lazy pool days on this tank. Can't remember what the fabric content is, but I will look before I take this off. So true to size, if you want it to be a little bit more fitted, want to wear it with shorts and you can just layer it, like I said, over a tank like this, you can wear, layer it with all like a band 
bando 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 you know underneath it or just like i said over a swimsuit if you're by the pool and it's a lazy pool day then that's what you can layer it over i'm going to take this off and tell you guys what the fabric content is um, and if you haven't seen these reversible tanks yet, they are fabulous. They're something we keep in stock um, and restock often in the different colors. They come in, I don't know, 12 or so different colors. And they're just a really great layering tank. They're quite fitted. It's not something that I'm usually like comfortable going out in public in because they're fitted, you know, just wearing this. Um, but I do love them for layering under t-shirts, under tanks like this um they're just one of my favorite favorite layering pieces because i also feel like they kind of smooth things out smooth out like buttons and belt loops and that kind of thing on shorts and pants so because they're more fitted they come in two sizes um one size two to 14. i think technically zero to 14 and then the other is Six. 16 to 22. to 22 okay so yeah they come in the two size ranges i've actually put on a plus size one and i'm like it's still fitted and comfortable and not way too big so um but they're just great so a little bit of a v-neck um it's a little bit of a v-neck it's not a real deep v so this is the v-neck side that it just comes to a little point then the back is the rounded one okay this tank 100 cotton um so if you dry your things you might want to size up one so that way you have the extra room and like i said if you're gonna layer it over um you know a swimsuit and you want that little bit of extra length and sizing up doesn't hurt. And then yes, these cute little denim earrings, these released last week and they actually look like denim, but they're a leather. Um, so they're just a cute one. They go with a lot and they're so lightweight, leather, lightweight, comfortable and fabulous. All right. You know what? My sweetheart heard me saying that I didn't have this shirt pulled for myself. So he brought me a few different sizes. <laughs> not sure which one. So he does watch the live and he does pay attention, but he not, must not listen to the size of my tag. And I am okay with that. Because <laughs> in graphic tees, he might wear a smaller size than me. So I am in that love it all color black tee. I'm in my true size. This is the extra large and if you're listening, I'm in the extra large. Um, really like the length on it. Love the fit. Just a comfy fit. I wouldn't size down at all. It hides all of the little lumpies and bumpies without feeling oversized. I know we've had two years of locked up at home wearing sweats and oversized and tunics and leggings. So it's nice to start getting some form fitting things back in. Um, and then y'all might have seen this and they're going fast. <laughs> the Madrid restock these are incredible i know you guys have heard us talk about that soul before it's the esv i don't know what those letters stand for what i know is in real life it means it's the comfiest cushiest soul that has ever existed it's like walking on memory foam cute little lightweight we had a customer yesterday say that it was the lightest weight shoe the shoes actually weigh less than the box when we got our first shipment we had to open all of them because we didn't believe that there was actually a pair of <laughs> shoes in there that's how lightweight they are they're literally like 13 ounces for the pair i know this because i have to weigh stuff to ship it <laughs> um and then i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do it right i'm gonna do it okay i'm gonna do everybody's it. asking because everybody's asking i'm gonna start with these have a day do you see what's on the top of there? Do you see that little wick? For the dad, for the hubby, for the brother, for the somebody that you don't know what to buy, there are now can bills. <laughs> That's what it says in the description. Um, they are 100% soy, does not contain alcohol. They are very specific about that. <laughs> so maybe buy your dad a candle, your husband a candle, your brother a candle, and a case of beer. There are options. So the Mick Ultra and the Budweiser are Island Sunrise. And if you ordered like a tequila sunrise drink, that's what this smells like. This, uh, this smells like you're going straight to the beach with this. So hard to buy for dads, dads who have everything, whoever you know that you maybe need a Father's Day gift for. This is what we were thinking was Father's Day gifts. Buy me a candle and a case of beer. There's PBR up where I live. We drink a lot of PBR and Bushlight. We are a classy folk up on the farm. <laughs> um, this one is called Black Raspberry Vanilla. I don't know, it's fantastic. That looks like a gross face. That didn't look like a fantastic <laughs> face. It's fantastic. So PBR, there's a Bud Light, 
And then I know in Michigan it's not prevalent, but man, if we can get our hands on Yingling, we will do it in a heartbeat. If we know anybody crossing that Ohio border, we're bringing it back. And then, you know, the candle that we'll be burning in my house <laughs> is the bush light. We might end up with them in every room. They're fantastic. They're fun. Super cute for those guys in your life. And then we have a couple other dad things that we'll show later. But there have been so many questions about why we're drinking so many different beers. <laughs> and really, it it's no just alcohol. the candle. Contains no alcohol. And then it does say in the description, these were cans that were drank out of. Don't worry, they're washed. <laughs> but because they've been recycled, you might see some differences and some imperfections. But... What yeah. are you going to do with a They're recycled They're super cool. They're and then afterwards, you can get 10 cents for it once you burn there it all the way down. You get 10 you get cents the 10 back. Cent deposit back. Um, so, depending on what state you live in. Yeah, I guess it depends <laughs> on what state. Here, in, you have, if you live in Ohio, you know, people take them over the border. Yes. To get I mean, don't talk about it. It's illegal. <laughs> but yes. They do um, cross but the border. But they are cute. Here. Like, if your husband has a little bar set up in the house, they're fun. Or even out, like you know, on your picnic table or your table on your, on your deck. Like it's just a cute little thing that you might not burn all the time, but it's a cute something to have around. Yes. Conversation piece. And they smell fabulous They do smell too. so good. They're so really those great. are super cute. Um, but yes, they are, they are used cans. There was one that I saw. It has a little ding in it, like nothing bad, but they are recycled um, cans. So they're super cool. They do smell really good. <laughs> so, okay. I'm ready for my comment. Um, huh? Oh, did you put it up? up? Oh, I see it. it. I see it. Okay, so we love this one. And because we're doing 4th of July, we were like, the colors in this are perfect for not a 4th of July specific piece. But if you like to be a little bit festive, still have the colors, but not be, you know, red, white, and blue flags, that's okay too. Um, but this is a really fun one. We love the colorway in this one. So you guys might remember we released this dress in, um, I don't know if it was jade or emerald or what the color was of of it but this one is called off white however it's quite white um we'd like to follow the packages descriptions so that way it doesn't create confusion you know when you're like wait i ordered the white one but my package says off white um this one is quite white on the background and then of course has the pretty pops of red in it uh, some oranges that bright kelly green and then the pretty blue is kind of a periwinkle blue um it's very very pretty so this one is called the might have been floral dress. It's available in sizes small through 2X. This brand does have the extra large and the 1X in it. I am shown here in the small and it is a fabulous fit. I absolutely love this dress. Love the length of it. I think it's a very, very um, cute length being mid calf, no matter how tall you are, that's where it's going to kind of hit. Um, I, get, I don't know how tall Brie is that was in today, but she's a shorter girl and it's Maybe still, five four. yeah, like five, four. So a few inches shorter than I am. And it wasn't like it, it was down to her ankle. Um, it still hit her mid calf and it was absolutely adorable on her. So this one has a fuller skirt on it. It is tiered, which is what gives you that fullness. Um, however, the tiers really blend in quite well because of the mixed print. So you don't see that a whole lot. Uh, it is lined down to about the knee, so you don't have to worry about it being a see-through. It's lined up top too, so you don't have to worry about that with it being a white dress. Um, this one, it is, like I said, fitted across the bust. I'm in the small, and we're recommending if you are chesty to size up one. It's going to give you a little bit extra room up top because it is more fitted. I think Christina is going to put this on. I think she was yes, asked I to, am. so y'all can see her in this one. Um, but it is beautiful. It has the cutest little, I love this collar with the V. I think it's just a very flattering and pretty fit. And then just your little ruffle detail here. Um, I have this paired with the Keeley Wedge, which this is one that I think we've restocked a few times now. This one is the gray. They're a great neutral that go with just about any anything. They're an extremely comfortable wedge. We've had women come in here and try on our wedges and say, you know, I couldn't do heels. I can't do wedges, but these I can do. They're it's very comfortable um, and they just have a great fit to the foot. So true to size in the, in the Keeley wedge, however, wider feet or those who often size up half size, it doesn't hurt to size up in this particular one. So they are so stinking cute. Um, but here, I'll give you a little peek at it up close. So it just has that night, like that print where you get a couple different shades of gray, this fun little detail here that wraps around the back. Um, and just that little like tassel. Nothing in your face crazy, but these are fabulous. Love the Keeley Wedge. And then, of course, they zip um, on and off. So 
These are not new and releasing today, but they're on the website. If you search Keely, K-E-E-L-Y, you can find them on the site. And they also come in a great, a little bit more of a brown, um, tan colorway. Okay, I'm gonna change. Okay. Christine's coming out. Oh, I just love this beauty. I just love it. It's so fun. It's so summery. I didn't put shoes on. I don't have heels in here for myself, so imagine if I had a heel on. <laughs> I'm in my true size. I'm in the extra large. This is the size that I would stay in. Not being exceptionally busty. I don't feel the need to size flex at all. I have room. I'm comfortable. Same as that light emerald from last week. Um, if you're busty, size up one. You know, it's such a cute flow to the dress that even up that one size, it's going to keep that A-line shape. And so we don't want anybody to be scared off when we say if you're a little bit busty or size up one because it's got such a good drape to it and it falls so nicely that that size up to accommodate for a larger bust isn't going to affect the bottom. Just going to give you a little more flow and a little more room to um, hide snacks in these perfect little snack holes. But I'm in my true size. I'm in the extra large and this is what I would stay in. So I think that was it on that, especially since we had the green one. I'm happy to go put that one on too. <laughs> But I'm going to go check on what's going on um, with those comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to go check. I'm going to go check. All right. Oh, I don't know what shoes I want to put on. Um, I guess I don't, I don't have to put shoes on. I just like to put shoes on. I have my clothes, my clothes from earlier thrown all over the place, so it makes picking a shoe a little tough. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I was okay. answering a question, and I wasn't getting you a comment. That's okay. <laughs> um, you guys, if you haven't seen this denim pearl jacket, this is not new today. This released, I don't know, maybe two months ago now, but it's fabulous. And we still have a few in stock. Um, and it is absolutely adorable. We love this light denim. Like look at the back, you get that fun wash on the back. And then the pearl details that are also around the cuff. I always cuff up my sleeves. Um, but it's so cute. And these pearls are sewn on extremely well. So they're not like one pearl is going to pop up. It's not like they're hot glued on. <laughs> um, so they are all actually studded. I should say they're studded on, so they aren't going anywhere. Um, I put unless you're too hard on it, right? Unless you yes, pull and that kind of thing. Like I can't it. say they're gonna be there forever, but they're studded on, so they're not like glued or um, sewn with a fine thread. But yeah, you can see the little studs all over on here. So um, this is called the Above All Odds Denim Jacket, available in small through 3X, quite true to size. I'm shown in the small. This one is 100% cotton, so it doesn't have stretch to it, but it is relaxed enough. This would be one that I would imagine you're probably not going to be layering over a sweatshirt. Um, typically, these no stretch denims, we say size up, or even when they have stretch, but they're a little bit more fitted, we say size up if you're going to layer over something thick. However, this one just really isn't the style to layer it over a sweatshirt, so I don't think most people would. Um, but if you would, then yes, yeah, size up one. Otherwise, stay true to size. I always wear my denim open, um, so it's going to just be this, like, nice fit open. If I was going to want to button it, I guess maybe I would go up to a medium, but I don't ever uh, button my denim. Um, so that would be a choice up to you if you want to size up. But otherwise, everybody's really stayed true to size in this one. I've been happy with it. So super cute. I have this layered over a new jacket or new new jacket over a new dress. This one is called the Sound of Sunshine dress. This is available in extra small slash small through 3X. So there are some of those that are going to be the combined sizing. Now, I'm in the small slash medium. You guys are going to see me tonight in a size down. So I would just want to preface this before I take off my jacket. You're like, oh, it's true so much because we're going to see what a size down looks like. Okay. So the quality of this is superb. Um, so this is a spaghetti strap style dress goes into that racer back. So this would be one if you wanted to continue wearing your bra with it, you could use those racer back clips, which is gonna help kind of hide your bra a little bit um, more underneath those straps. 
However, you can opt to do a strapless bra with this one as well. Um, this material is absolutely superb. So it's a rib material, but so stretchy and a great thickness. So this is not one that feels like it's clinging and showing and that kind of thing. It is like the most, like the best ribbed weight and quality fabric. So it has a cute little side slit on the side. Um, and then like, I love that the edges kind of round on the front and on the back. I was going to say, do they just round on when I can't always see them? Um, pockets, snack holes on this, of course. And true, like I've shown, like I said, in the small slash medium, I think I'm going to prefer the extra small, small, um, just because of the fit. But like I said, we'll put that one on so y'all can see it. Christine, are you putting this on? Yes, I am. Okay. I think that's going to make it like sit a little bit higher for me and see how just like how where it's sitting and because of the relaxed, it's making my pockets a little funny, but I feel like going down the one size is gonna make those pockets lay better for they sit better or where they're supposed to be on my hips. So this might be one that we find that if you're those in between sizes, you're gonna wanna go with the smaller, but Christine's gonna put this one on so that y'all can see her in it. Um, I was gonna tell you fabric content. Fabric content is 75% polyester, 20% rayon, 5% spandex. This is seriously one of those, I love these easy dresses for summer. We talked about that before. Like this is not a get dressed up and wear to a wedding dress, right? But these are, this is one of those super cute with a fun jean jacket, cute by the pool. I like to wear a dress even in my neighborhood when I'm sometimes doing yard work or doing those things around my house but I still want to look cute. Um, then I'll throw on a fun little dress like this. So this is one that I love for a lot of different things. I can throw on a little jean jacket. I can throw on a cardigan, wear this out to launch, um, and still be comfortable. It'd be like one that I pack for vacation. Like I can do anything in this. I can go to the pool. I can go to the beach. I can wear it out shopping. I can wear it to dinner. Like I could do a lot of different stuff in it. So this is the Heather Gray. Christine is going to come on out here. Um, and I'm going to go change. Okay. You go change. I want to go change. You're going to go change. Okay. So just like Rachel said with the sizing, there's an extra small, 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 medium, large, extra large, and then a 1X, 2X, 3X. So what we wanted to do was show you both of us in both sizes. So you're actually going to see this dress again in another color. <laughs> And we're going to try our other sizes on. So we both went with our larger of the two sizes. Rachel was in the small medium. I'm in the 1X. My other option would be the large, extra large. I'm actually really quite comfortable in this. I think this is going to come down to maybe where you carry your weight a little. If you are new here, if you're not, if you've been here before, you know where I'm going with this. I'm apparently a little bit hippie <laughs> and I carry my weight in my hips and in my bum. And so with the pockets laying right there, I feel like I fill it out very nicely right here. If I, if I carry, you know, 15 pounds up a little bit higher, <laughs> I might want to size down and we're going to see it. But as a hippier girl, I am very comfortable in my one X. So I saw the question posed, if you're a 3X, do you size down to a 2X? This is not a dress intended to size down. That's very cute on This you. is if you're a small, do you sometimes go up to a medium? Do you sometimes go to an extra small? That would be where you made your determination on extra small, 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 medium. Same with extra large. Are you normally an extra large? I'm normally a solidly extra large girl. So that's why I am doing the 1X in this and I'm comfortable, but we'll see the large, extra large. I don't feel the need to size down if you're not hippie like Rachel and you're not busty like Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got her. Then you can probably size down in this, but this is where I would stay. So we'll check out the next outfit. I'll see you in a little bit in the other color or maybe something else before then, who knows? Who knows? Maybe Christine will think of something to make fun of me about <laughs> before the next one. Oh. All right. Well, I feel like I need these shades for this outfit. Oh, yes. And to go with this new koozie. <laughs> um, so, you guys, we have we brought in these fun little uh, koozies for... Uh, 4th of July, of course, that say USA, USA, USA. And then it says party like it's 1776 on them. I, I did not know it said that. Yeah, party like it's 1776. 
and like these oh. sunglasses they are available for sale on our site if you're scoping them out the, what are these these are the flyers yes okay the flyers. the flyers in blue so they're a fun one too that aren't fourth of july specific but are fun to wear with a red shirt okay but look at how cute this is i put it on on a beer candle you could also <laughs> decorate your beer candle for the holiday with this koozie what's so fabulous about this let me show you remember snap bracelets back in the day <laughs> this is like that <laughs> it's like a snap bracelet for your can so um it's a neoprene keeps your hand warm your beer cold, you're good to go. <laughs> so super cute, you guys. Um, and they actually, because of them being the snap bracelet style, you can use them, you can put it on a cup, you can put it on um, a skinny can. Here, we'll do it on the Mick Ultra. So y'all can see it overlaps just a little bit, but it doesn't make it like weird in your hand. Um, so you could do it on skinny cans. It's nice because so many things now you're like, do I get a, do I buy them a skinny can or do I buy them a, you know, a classic 12 ounce can size. So this is cool because it goes with any of them. So that fun tie-dye background party, like it's 1776. These are launching tonight. They're a cute little Father's Day thing too. You know, Father's Day or 4th of July if you do things. But I just love them. That snap, there's snap. I mean, I would probably just be doing that the whole time. She, listen, I might wear it, it as a bracelet. Since they came in. <laughs> I, uh, I might wear it as like a cuff up here on my arm for 4th of July. Listen, how many of you have lost a koozie before? Oh away, my gosh. On Pontoon Alley or you dropped it somewhere. Like, mm, I need to take a break, drink, um, a break from drinking. That's probably what I need to do. Need to take a break. Let me just wear my koozie until I'm ready to drink See, again so they are super cute these are releasing today they'll be on the website um for y'all to snatch up with your candles and your other fun little accessories I'm going to throw these on too so that we all can see. So these, um, like I said, these are not 4th of July specific, but they have the blue lens, which is fun. Um, and then we have, of course, our ever so fabulous 4th of July USA flag sunglasses that are adorable. We love these. My whole family has a pair of them um, because we traditionally take a 4th of July photo. I don't know why we chose that day, but we do. Because you love America. We do love America. Um, and like Jake, would, if he saw a flag on the ground, he would stop the car. He would get out and he would go fix it our kids would do the same now because they know the rule um no flags on the ground so we love america and we all have these because they're wonderful unisex so good if a good little combo if you want to give a pair of sunglasses with a koozie with a candle like great great little gift for the guy that you don't know what who to who or what to buy or who or what to buy them don't buy them a person buy them things <laughs> um, but they're just great so fun little stuff and then for you girls our uh, Americana, what did I say this one is called? Star, the Star Bangle? Uh, Star, I, gotta I can't up. remember. I it was glitter, but I'm oh, glisten. glisten. The Glisten bracelet stack in your red, white, and blue. So this is a fun one to have on hand. What's nice is that they don't come attached, so you can mix and match. You can wear just the red ones. Like if you're not doing a red, white, or blue combo, um, you know, or just wear your blue ones. So they are mixable. If you have several stacks, you can mix up your bracelets and wear them in different combos. Uh, so they are cute and let me get back here to the comment. So y'all, we talked about this tank. You saw this at the beginning, this muscle tank in the powder blue. It's also available in Heather red. So a little bit of like a paler, not super, super bright red, but a little bit of that heathered red look. I love the color of this one too. If you missed the beginning, let me go over the details of this real quick. This is available in small through 2X. I am shown here in the small. I'm about a size eight shown in the small. Um, and this one, like we talked about, great fit for under the arms. If you want a roomier fit in the midsection, you can size up one. Um, however, this does have nice stretch. It's very soft and comfortable. Fabric content, 63% polyester, 33% rayon, 4% spandex, curved hemline on this. I, this is actually one that like, I think I would get in both colors because it is that good of a take and you can't go wrong with stars any time of the year like great for fourth of july that whole week i think like typically we start a week before um the holiday and start wearing we're only wearing red white and blue for the next seven days so super cute and comfortable I paired it here, which we don't have many of these left in stock, these corky double O's. So these are cork and leather bonded together with the stars and the stripes. Um, extremely lightweight, 
They're not going to weigh your ears down. So they're really lightweight and comfortable. Um, and there's only a couple pairs of this one currently left. So snatch them up if you want them. And we had a restock select sizes. I couldn't get a restock on all of them. I don't know if Judy Blue found um, some random ones laying around or what, but I was able to get a restock in our ever so popular Judy Blue bleach splatter boyfriend jeans in the dark wash. These are a fan favorite. Um, and we were able to get a few sizes. Like I said, unfortunately, not all of them at the moment, but they are ones that we will continually restock if we can get them. Um, and so these are a traditional boyfriend fit with the bleach splatter details, some heavier distressing and dark wash. They're not super dark, but they are darker than the original bleach splatter that released, which was a lighter wash. So these are kind of a medium wash on them. Very true to Judy Blue sizing with their boyfriend fit. So I wear the 728 across the board in all Judy Blues. Um, even in my boyfriends, I prefer to stay in the size, even though they have stretch um, and all that jazz. I stay in the 728, but you do have the ability or the option to size down one if you want them to be less boyfriend fit. Boyfriend fit, relaxed in the waist, relaxed in the hips, relaxed in the thigh, in the knees, they're just a relaxed fit all over. That's the intention of a boyfriend fit. So sizing down one is an option. And I'm going to real quick touch on this. So we've had people talk about that they can size down several sizes in Judy Blue jeans. Like I'm typically a size 15 in jeans, but in Judy Blues, I can wear an 11. So something to keep in mind that Christine and I were actually just talking about is that when you size down too much, yes, Judy Blues have fabulous stretch. So that makes it so that you gives us the ability to size down. And we love that number of the smaller size, right? Like if I could wear a size three in these, you know, I probably could get them on. <laughs> um, and I might not be at my comfortable, but I could get them on. Um, but there's something to be said about a denim that has this much stretch and the ability for it to stretch, but also maintaining the quality of the jeans. So if we are stretching denim too much, What's something that happens? We start breaking fibers within the jean. You might not see it right away, but it's something that will come over time. And then you'll be like, well, I have these jeans that suddenly I've only had them a year. And why do I, why am I rubbing holes in my thighs? Or why am I having issues with breaking threads and that kind of thing that happens when we size down too much. So yes, we have the ability to size down because they are stretchy and comfortable. But when we size do, down too much, we could be forfeiting the quality of the denim when we are overstretching them, right? Is that kind of what we were talking about? Did I miss anything on that? You did not miss anything. Okay, so that. with these, yes, you have the option to go down a size. Some people go down two. Just keep in mind that when we are stretching the denim to its full capacity, that you then are potentially causing threads to break internally that you're not even seeing on a regular break spaces. You're causing them to stretch more here. So then they're stretched on your inner thigh and our thighs rub. I'm a size eight, my thighs rub, right? Um, they rub. And so if I'm stretching this denim all the way and then it's rubbing and it's rubbing and those threads are already kind of breaking and weak, we're going to cause more breaking in them. So something to keep in mind when we size down too much because they're stretching them. They're meant to be stretchy. They're meant to be comfortable. So that's a great thing about them. They aren't meant to be jeans that like everybody can size down three sizes. Okay. So I hope that that makes some sense. Like we haven't had an issue with it. I don't want to say we've had anybody Me. complaining with quality at all. It's just something that we were actually seeing a whole thread of boutique owners talking about that. We were like, you know, this makes sense. Yeah. Right. Yes. I mean, we personally have not had any question the sizing or the quality of them. And especially in person, we really try to help navigate what those differences are in sizing. And we try to do our best cross country without having your body right, right in front of us. But we're seeing other people with ripped out belt loops because they're wearing jeans three sizes too small and then hiking them up. Yes, belt and loops. we know, like when I bend down like this, it doesn't matter what size jeans I'm in. When I stand up, I'm going to have to readjust, right? Like that's part of jeans. That's part of pants. When I sit in a chair for an hour and a half, when I stand up, I'm going to have to readjust. If I have like, if I'm carrying my kids things in my pockets and my phone in my back pocket and all kinds of stuff in my pockets and change and whatever, I can't expect that I have rocks in my pockets and my pants are going to stay <laughs> up. Like I'm going to have to readjust them sometimes. That doesn't mean they're too big. That's just jeans. Okay. So 
you know, just something to keep in mind. We wanted to touch base on this because so often we're seeing a lot of exceptional sizing down, but we want to keep the integrity of the denim in mind as well. So we know what you this is not a lecture. It's not meant to be a lecture. I feel like I'm like lecturing. No, I don't mean to do that. Just, I just some of that educational stuff that we yeah. see from other, you know, we're in a group of what thousands yeah boutique owners where we share advice and ask questions and yeah we see some of the woes that they struggle with and try to help all of you yeah get and i really like quality. this is why i love staying true to size in the boyfriend jeans like i love the intended fit of them yes i could go down a size i could probably go down too i mean i really could probably because a lot of people size down too in them could i fit in them yes but there's that concern about like what am I doing to the jeans by doing that, you know? And it, and and is it complimentary to my body shape? So, okay. I think that covers that. <laughs> I'm going to get on. off my soapbox and I'm going to change. You're <laughs> moving on. Yes. Um, I am going to say that 96%. I don't know if you know that I just made up that percentage or not. <laughs> 96%. Of Judy Blue's Candy Uncuffed. This particular pair, it's a three-inch yes. cuff. It can be uncuffed. There are very few. I think there is one pair of jeans that the cuff is tacked. And then on the majority of the shorts, the cuff is tacked. Because we all know the cuffs on shorts, where you're sitting on them, you're standing up, you're moving, it's much more affected by your movement than the cuff at your ankle. So they tack those to stay in place so that, you know, thunder thigh is over here. I'm talking about myself. <laughs> we'll rub that cuff right on roll. <laughs> so yeah. they tack those. But they always say on the site, like, if they are tacked. So if you read the description, it will say, like, tacked and can't be uncuffed. But typically, too, we'll have the measurement for with it uncuffed and cuffed. So you can see both. Um, both what the inseam would be without it being uncuffed. Okay. Next up. Oh, I'm sorry. Facebook You're okay. decided it didn't want You're me to okay. comment. So let me just um, do this real quick. I'm like trying to read this backwards. Stars and stripes. New ampersand. Double hoodie, you guys. How cute is this? Love. I love anything with these kind of varsity stripes. It gives me that little throwback feel to it. So this is a Heather Red. Very similar in color to the tank that I just had on. That Heather Red um, with the stars and stripe. I think it would be considered a vinyl print that's on here. The inside hood is a very light Heather Gray. Um, and then you have the little side zip here. So side zips on the double hoods are just for show. I mean, they obviously unzip, but they aren't, they don't open up the sweatshirt or anything like that. Thumb holes in the light Heather Gray. Um, and then this one has welt pockets on it. So not the kangaroo pocket where our hands touch, welt pockets on the side and triple stretch. Extremely super stretchy and comfortable. So true to size, I'm shown in the small and I would stay in this size. It is fabulous and so comfortable. Um, and so cute. Stars and stripes. I love the Americana collection from Ampersand. I think we still have a few of the USA ones on the site. And what is the one that on the back, what does it say? Do you remember? I have it. You'd think I could remember. All my stars. All my stars. We have a few of those. They'll be in the America collection that you guys can view too um, in the America the Beautiful collection. But yes, true to size on this butte. Size up only if you like an oversized hoodie. Ampersands are straight or cut. So they are going to be a little bit more fitted throughout the hips. However, the stretch is great. Size up only if you like an oversized sweatshirt, okay? Um, but otherwise, true to size and wonderful. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and change. You go ahead and change, and then I'm coming out in an ampersand. I don't think I've come out in an ampersand in quite a while. <laughs> I don't think so either. Did you bring one back here for yourself? I do believe, because all of them tonight are a different cut, that they did all get pulled for me just oh, in case. Good, good, good. So yeah, I'll pop that comment up. And good, then good, good. I will. Our rings in your new fu near future. There is one cute little ring on the website yeah. right now. Yeah, you know, we kind of <laughs> talked about it before that, like, I would love to bring in a nice jewelry line. Um, it's amazing what you kind of find as a boutique owner for crap. <laughs> for for crappy not nice things like I don't want to carry not nice stuff. Um, but I love kind of that middle of the road option and. Um, without actually 
having yet, although the hope is that now that I don't have my other job, that we will be able to go, but we would love to go to a trade show um, and there find a jewelry line that we really, really like. We love our bracelets, adore our earrings, absolutely adore our earring um, company. But yes, we would like to get something else. Um, but just doing that type of shopping online can be hard. Um, you know, and I'm sure even as a consumer, it can be hard. Um, so we just don't want to invest in bringing in something that we isn't... Feel we want to feel it. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the hope for something soon. Um, Sherry, this actually was a gift to me. So I don't have, I don't know exactly. No, I mean, I do, I think, but I, when I looked last, I couldn't find it available anymore, but it was a gift. So it's just a little bar that moves, um, on the chain. And actually I wear it to bed. I wear it in the shower, I wear it all the time. And it's held up really well. That's what I want is to carry good stuff like that. So, okay, next up, you guys, is this cute tea? I know Christine put my comment up. I just keep babbling. I need to stop babbling. And it is called the Life is Short Graphic Tea. I know it's going to be backwards for you all, but it says, Life is Short. Take the trip. Buy the shoes. Eat the cake. We love just some great, simple graphic tees that are cute and fun, um, that are easy, throw it on and go, and it's a cute graphic tee. It has a picture of like an old car on it, right? That's what this is. Yeah, the back end, the rear end of, of an old car. So life is short, take the trip, buy the shoes, eat the cake, a philosophy we all need to live by, I think. So super cute. This is on a Bella. Nope. You know what? I don't know the brand because um, this tag is removed from oh, this one. Um, but I know I have fabric content on on the website. <laughs> uh, when I pull this off, I'll tell you fabric content because it's printed on the shirt so I can't tell you. But I think, I don't know. Let I me tell you about it. the fit. I will find it. <laughs> True to size. Nice. It feels like a Bella canvas tee, even though that tag is 50% polyester. 25% cotton, 25% rayon. Yeah, it's the cutest mint tone and then slightly relaxed fit in the midsection, unisex, midsection, unisex fit, so stay true to size. Again, unless you like an oversized tee, then you can go up one, but otherwise, true to size for that like classic t-shirt fit, but I love it. Good little message. Um, oh yeah, and then these earrings, y'all. I didn't tell you about these. So these are that gecko leather that has that cool texture to it inset inside of this lightweight wood. So this is, why can't I remember the name walnut. of the wood? Walnut, thank you. So this is walnut. It's extremely lightweight for being a wood that's on an earring. So really, really lightweight with that inset leather. So it doesn't stick up or anything like that. Um, these I actually loaded last week after the live. So they are already available on the site. The mint, I think is what color that one is. Mint? Yes, I just, now I'm having. <laughs> of what the colors are? Yeah. Pink, I think that was pink. pink. Pink, and then. Periwinkle. Periwinkle. So these three color options, they're really cute and really, really lightweight. So those are available on the site. And like I said, they launched last week, but I didn't talk about them at all in the live. I don't know that I even posted a picture of them because of how late I loaded them. them. I, I have not put an ampersand on in a live in forever. In real life, I basically live in them at all <laughs> yes. times. We live in them. This one is so stinking cute and comfy. And you know what I love most about it? Is that it's a lighter weight than the winter ampersands. It's still got that triple stretch. You're still going to be cozy by a bonfire. But it's just slightly lighter weight. It's not quite as thick. It's not quite as heavy. So when the temperature dips from 80 to 65 and you feel that chill and you just need something, you're not going to sweat to death while you have this on. I just had to put these flyers on too. I just adore them. So, oh, are we, did we do them too early? Let me, we let me, well, you know, the question just arose, what are all of these in the background? <laughs> So let me just pop them up. For anybody who wasn't on in the beginning, when we started, these are candles. Candles. Um, they We brought them in as a fun Father's Day gift for the guys in your life, whoever you might be buying for. So it's 100% soy, soy wax in a recycled can. There's an Island Sunrise scent that smells like you're drinking on a beach and it makes me want to go back to Mexico. And then there is black raspberry vanilla. 
Both are super clean smelling. Both are fantastic. Cute little add-on for Father's Day. And then, you know, if you live in a state with a deposit, like we were joking about, after the candle has burned out, you can take the can back because it's really just missing that top lid. Uh, sweatshirt details, real quick. I am in my true size, extra large in this. This is my comfy fit. This is in the triple stretch, the size that I stay in. I still have room in the middle. And even if you want... I wear mine long. Rachel and I both wear ours long, and you can see that stretch. It'll just keep going. <laughs> It'll just keep going, but if you want it a little bunched up in the midsection, easily doable as well. But again, no need to size flex in these unless you like an oversized hoodie. Doesn't hurt to go up one. I think Rachel's ready. I think so. I'm gonna go catch up on those comments again. And I'll see you in a little bit. Maybe I'll throw these on real quick, real quick, like, okay. Mm, let me get you a comment, got it. Okay, sorry. Oh, I'm in heels again, I have to make this a little taller. Okay, um. Um. Rachel didn't have capris on. <laughs> yeah, they were the boyfriend cut, the boyfriend. but they were cut cuffed, and so they're they're just a shorter length on me because I'm five seven. Um, they're not considered a capri. However, I love the length of them. Um, so they're they're the Judy Blue bleach splatter boyfriend jeans in the dark wash is what you would search. Christine does the fourteen W in those, right? Unless, because it's boyfriend, I personally choose to drop down one size, but my true Judy Blue size is 14W. Okay, next up, you guys. Okay, I love in the jumpsuits. And um, I love this one. Did I was like, there? Yes, I see oh, okay. it. Okay, next up is the... A new jumpsuit called the Estee Beautiful Jumpsuit. This is available in small through 2X. Look at how gorgeous this color is fuchsia magenta like it's in that pretty pinky rich tone that jewel tone and this is cute so adjustable spaghetti straps on this one this would be adorable over even one of our reversible tanks for a little bit more of a casual look over a um like a fitted t-shirt you i have it paired over a bralette right now so let's talk about this one and let's talk about the length because i like the length of this a lot and i think that it's one where like the jumpsuits we released a couple weeks ago, last week, was that last week? The black and the olive. Those two jumpsuits, people were concerned with I'm a little taller, what's the length gonna be like on me? And this is probably, if you're on the taller side in that one, what the length would be. And it's a very cute in style length right now, having that slightly cropped look to it. I love, so it. I I love it. I think it is <laughs> adorable. I was, I've been feeling no pockets on this one, but you can see it's a relaxed fit here throughout the body. It's meant to be through the body, more fitted up top. Um, it does have working buttons here down the front and a kind of a scoop back. Right now I have it layered over a bralette. That's just what I chose to pair it with. Um, and I actually, navy bralette is the color that I went with. You could choose any color that you'd like. And just a heads up, we restocked a ton of bralettes. Um, tons of colors, black, white, off-white, tons of them. We have a new color um today what is this one called can't remember oh, it's gorgeous I, was it not it would even be really pretty blue with this radiance. blue radiance it would be really that? pretty with this as well if you wanted a little bit more of a pop of color or you can stick with something more neutral or even the purple, purple tones like the dusty oh purple the dusty purple things. yes those tones would be really pretty with it so sizing on this I have a little bit of room up top and with these straps, they are spaghetti straps that are adjustable. I have them adjusted quite a bit up, almost like right to the top of my shoulders. If you're larger busted, but the same size as me or even same size, but maybe a wee bit hippier, then I would say that you could get away with this one and you just adjust your straps a little bit. That's going to give you some more room in your bust. Um, true to size really is going to be my recommendation in this one. It is so cute and extremely comfortable. I know people ask about length and it's really hard to determine length on these because of how low this sits. 
Um, so I could measure the inseam, but it's not going to give you an accurate depiction of like what the length is. Cause this is if like I had it up where jeans would sit, you know? <laughs> and so really it does, it's very difficult to measure, but I'm five, seven for reference, obviously wearing a wedge right now. I think that honestly, this is going to be a good one, no matter your height. And if you're a shorter gal and it brushes the tops of your shoes, I think you're going to be totally fine. Um, fabric content might be on the backside of this one. I'm thinking thinking. So I will look and tell you, but it definitely has a little bit of that like slight creepy feel to the material. Um, it is double layered up top. Just checking out all the details on this one. It has hanger straps. Cut those out when you get it so they don't end up hanging out on you. But I love this. I think it's absolutely adorable. Um, and I love it. It's so cute. Throw on here the gecko earring in the two inch petal. So this is the um, gecko petals that we have in several different colors. And this one I think is called raspberry. Uh, it's a, just a nice match with this one. So really cute. Christine is going to put this one on and come out for you. I'm going to check fabric content real quick. 100% ray on, Christine says, since she's pulling out, she could see it. But I love it. True to size. I'm in the small. Uh, we'll see what Christine says when she comes on out. Um, but being like a size 6, 8, I'd say stick with the small. If you're a 10, that's when you'd want to go up to the medium. So, okay. Wow. Oh, she's having issues out there. She's scratching herself with some tags. <laughs> with some bags? Some tags. Oh, tags. Oh, oh more. I think I need to turn a fan on in here. What are you mumbling about? I'm warm. I can't hear you. I'm on the hallway. <laughs> you said I'm warm. Oh, I can't hear you. I'm on the hallway. Christine can't hear me because she's out in the hallway. <laughs> Changing like a peasant <laughs> out in the hallway. She could change in here. It's her choice. No, there's no room back there. There's no Oh, I just love that. That's super cute. There's no would you like me to help you with your tag situation? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. I can change in the hallway, but I can't handle all these tags getting caught up. This is comfy. Okay, so I put this nude reversible seamless tank back on. Be oh, I went for pockets. I went for snack holes and they don't exist. That's okay. Not everything needs a snack know, hole. Not everything needs it. So this is the reversible. Let me just show you this little detail. Um, v on one side, scoop on the back. So I did it this way because the back scoops and the front bees, but that's what makes it reversible. You can wear it either direction. So depending on what clothing item you're wearing, if you want the scoop neck or if you want more of that V, it's not a sharp V, but it just comes more to a point. So I've been doing this with all the jumpsuits. This gives you another option, especially in something with a spaghetti strap like this. If a bralette is not up your alley and not your style. It's super easy to pop on one of these cute little fitted seamless tanks because it does fit so smoothly that you don't have to worry about it rolling up underneath a looser garment or underneath anything for that matter. So I'm in my true size in this. I'm in the extra large, super comfy. I have room in the waist. Not enough room that I would size down. Just room in the waist. <laughs> that it's, it gives me a shape. You can see that it gives me that shape right there. So I certainly don't feel like I'm in anything too big. But then even my big old hips that my sister likes to make fun of still I do has not. room. Don't let her fool you. I'm with her seven days a week. Her. I don't Guess what she doesn't stay on camera on purpose. She doesn't ever make fun of them on purpose. I do That's not. What she That's what she said. Love the length on this. I have foregone shoes. I'm apparently at that point in the life, but stay true to size in this. I actually didn't adjust my straps at all. So if you are a little bit shorter because of that long rise, there's room to go up. And if you're taller, there's room to extend the straps. And so you don't have to worry about it being too short on your torso. I can't forget about I don't know what she's doing. I can't forget about these. And she can't buried. forget about these. They're buried. So stay true to size. I love it. I love it. And I love those more muted tones. You know, I was saying to Rachel earlier that if you are not a like bright red, navy blue, 
but you still want to be festive, this can read a little red, especially pairing it with that navy. Oh, but if yeah. you have a 4th of July party that you are going to and you don't want to match perfectly our country, but I mean, how could you not want to? Right. It's red, white, and blue. That this just gives you those deeper tones to play with. So stay true to size. Love it, love it. I might not take it off. There's always that one outfit from Alive <laughs> that I just that might not take really off. That is really fabulous. Though. It's just so really comfortable. And I love the camera. You need to go. Okay. <laughs> I just walked away. I can't. I, I had to pick something up. I just walked away. Um. All right. Just waiting. Just waiting on my comment. Wait. Waiting on my comment. Snack holes in this one. You guys, I am, I put this on and I was like, oh, love it. Okay, next up is the Thoughts of Eugene jacket in Dark Wash. Um, this is available in small through 3X, released just a couple of weeks ago. Um, but super cute layer, and I love this look together. Look at how fabulous this maxi dress is. Um, the tiered length and the colorway, it's fabulous. Love it with a denim jacket. If you're going somewhere that you need to have a layer, whether it be a wedding, a concert, a bridal shower, um, a baby shower, church, like all kinds of things, this is adorable. These jean jackets, unlike the pearl one, this one has lots of stretch to it. So the pearl one we were talking about 100% cotton, though true to size. This one has lots of stretch to it. It's a different type of denim um, that if you were to layer it over something thick, we would recommend sizing up one size to give you that extra extra room. Even though they're stretched to it, you don't want to be squished in there like a stuffed sausage, right? So we give a little bit of extra room if you're layering over a sweatshirt, that kind of thing, to have the ability to. And especially if you are extra busty and want to be able to button it, size up one. I'm going to tilt this down just a little bit. It's kind of high. So um, I love this jacket. It has a wee bit of distressing to it. Just a wee bit. A little bit right here. Um, tiny little bit on the pocket. And then it has this cute frayed hem that I think is such a flattering cut because it kind of cuts in and then scoops down just a little bit in the back. It is adorable. If you are somebody who you don't do distressing, you can absolutely pull off this jacket. It's so cute um, and good for all ages. You're not too old for a jean jacket with a tiny little bit of distressing. So don't question yourself. You're going to love it. So let's talk about this dress. <laughs> Did you see this on when I ran through? Uh, no, but I love it. It is so stinking cute, and it has snack holes. So this is a pretty shade of coral. It is coral. I have it paired with the deep coral earrings. They are a shade darker, um, but a perfect complement. Uh, I mean, they look like perfection with it. This one has the square neckline with a smocked bodice on this one. So it gives you some room for a larger bust. Um, and then it also has smocking here on the straps that go over your shoulders. Unbelievably comfortable. So comfortable. Little ruffle sleeve here, little ruffle sleeve. So if you don't like a spaghetti strap, you can do your, I'm like, I say, always say this, you can do your regular bra. You absolutely can wear your regular bra with it. I have mine under here. Regular bra with this one, not having to worry about spaghetti straps, but still cool with being, you know, tank style. So let's talk about the rest of it. <laughs> Smock top here, right to like natural waistline about point. And then you can see when I do this, that there are tiers. Okay. So it's a little bit more fitted throughout the hips. Um, and then it fans out to this full bottom. And then I absolutely love it has a different print that right here. I'm trying to not like give you all a show. It has a little print that runs all the way about around the bottom. So it's not a separate piece of material, but it's cut and sewn and made perfectly that it gives you that fun detail along the bottom um, and kind of like, I don't know, mosaic -y style print. Super cute. So floral up top, and then you have that little bit of a different fabric on the bottom, or not fabric, but print along the bottom. I don't think I can tell you fabric content. I'm gonna put mine on. Oh wait, okay. here it is. Okay, fabric content, 100% rayon, lightweight. This one is not lined, and I don't know what y'all can see. If you can, I am wearing dark, dark gray underwear. So if you can see through it a little bit, I would recommend just wearing a nude underwear. You don't need to wear a slip or lining or anything like that. It's a heavy enough weight and non-sheer 
Um, but of course, like we talk about the light shines through this, just wear nude underwear or something light, light pink, um, you know, or something. So that way it's not something dark underneath, but otherwise you would be fine. Um, if you are shorter, will it drag? It could potentially, yeah, I mean, drag a little bit. Again, it depends where that height difference is between us, like total length of the dress. Um, also, where you wear this with these smocked, I can actually kind of like pull it down and make it a little bit longer um, or pull it up because of the smocking in the body and lose an inch or two depending on, you know, how tightly I have the smock pulled and also how tight I have it pulled over my shoulders. So it gives you the ability to kind of adjust it a wee bit. Um, but I'm 5'7 and I'm probably two inches off the ground with how I have it on right now. So it's all going to be, you know, dependent upon that. So size wise, I'm showing in the small. I would say stay true to size. Pockets are there. They're not, we were talking about this. Pockets in some of these dresses, they're functional, but I need to put something in there, but it's not always a comfortable, like I'm not going to walk around like this, you know, but they're there if I wanted to use them. <laughs> um, I would say true to size. However, you can see, like, I don't have any stretch beyond this. So if you are hippier, in my opinion, you're small, but you are have a little bit more of a pear shape or a little bit more of a hip, you might want to go up so that way it's not snug on your hips. I do not feel like this is snug on me. I would stay in the size, but if you carry more weight in this section um, where there isn't, you can see there's some give here, but then where that seam is, there's not right across the bum, um, then you might want to go up one size to give you some more room there. It is so warm in here. It is so warm in here. That is so cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn a fan on. Oh, and what shoe do I have on? I have the Misty paired with this, just a flat, cute. I have these myself. They are so comfortable and it's so neutral and very, very cute. Um, I would recommend sizing up half size in them if you have a wider foot or often go up half size. I can do the eight and a half or the nine. Uh, nine gives me just that little bit more length. So, but they are so cute. And they also come in black. Ooh, what if I put it under the heel? But this is the Misty. <laughs> Stretchy, comfortable, easy. Okay, Christine. Back here taking my time. Christine's gonna come on out. Trying to look for. But this dress too would be really cute with a wedge. Christine's throwing on a heel. Well, that's what, yeah, so it's yeah. a little bit shorter. Than Wear it with a cute pose. wedge. Yes. Yeah. I waited too long. This to is this. adorable. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not out there. I'm Country sorry about my Country music fest. Like that's where I want to wear this too. With a pair of cowgirl boots. With a pair of cowgirl boots and a jean jacket. I didn't zip these heels up in the back, so if I fall down <laughs> on the camera, it's my own fault. I love this. I'm in my true size. I'm in the extra large. I'm 5'8", so I'm only one inch taller than Rachel. So if you're a little bit shorter, I mean, I'm getting, wow. hold on, if I bend down, you can't see it. It hits right at the top of my ankle bone, whether I'm standing flat footed in a sandal or in this heel it's going to hit right on my ankle bone so like rachel said you can adjust this smocking i mean i originally <clears throat> had it pulled down a little bit farther <laughs> i don't i don't think the, the cut here and the cut here are flattering <laughs> on me so just by because it's smocked there's a lot of give and so just pulling it up that inch and a half or so it also shortens it ever so slightly at the bottom. Let me step back so I'm making sure that I'm showing you that. It gives me a more defined waist a little bit higher up so it's more flattering and it doesn't put that tear right on the widest part of my hip. So again, a little more flattering flow. So when you put this on, play with it a little bit. I know sometimes we're so quick to judge a garment that like put it on, hate it, didn't look good on me, didn't fall right. This one, because of that smocking detail, you can adjust looking at the back. It's not like there's extra fabric back here where you can tell that I've played and adjusted. Um, I'm a 14, 16, I'm in the extra large. I'm comfortable in this, I would stay in this. I think that if you're a 16 and you carry weight in your hips, you're for sure going to want to go up a size. I can feel that seam, not uncomfortably feel it. There's still room, it's not pulling tight. I don't feel uncomfortable, but being in between the two sizes and size flexing, I think an extra large is gonna be a 14, 16. But if you tend to always be a 16, 16, 18, you're gonna to wanna to go up that one size. And then plenty of length for tall girls and shorter gals, 
I am sure if you are shorter, you are used to heels in your life. So don't let that scare you away with a long dress. Pop those babies on. Every girl under 5'2 that I know has a heel collection that I am envious of. <laughs> and I have a heel collection. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get you a comment. Not fall down in these not zipped heels. <laughs> um, yeah, don't fall down back there. That yeah, is so I pretty. I love the color of it. I love it. It is. It's, it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's a, a fun dress. dress. Um, I threw on some fun earrings here. I don't know if y'all have seen these in a while. These are cute. I actually think we restock these. These bell shapes mm. that have mm. that lightweight wood on them. And then they are a mustard color. It has a little bit of green and like a rust tone in them. So they're cute for a summer. And then they'll transition into fall really well. Um, so I think, did, did you put my... Did pop through? Mm. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we've released some really great basic tanks the last few weeks. Some that are just great. If you are not a print person or you like to have those pieces that you can layer under a blazer or a jacket or a cardigan or something that's printed. And we have another one. So this is different than the ones we released last week, but still a really great option. I love this color green. I think they called it forest. Um, but it is really pretty. It's not an emerald green. It's definitely more of a forest green. Um, and this is called the, what's wrong? I'm just trying to read the glad to see you tank. Oh my goodness. That was so much work. <laughs> it says if you're feeling a little green, it's okay. Oh, I need to read the whole thing. Oh, Where? God. I thought it was called wear the glad to see you tank. I thought that's what we call it. I was stumbling. I named these things. It's, they still confuse me. Um, the Glad to See You tank. <laughs> and this is available in small through 3X. This is a lightweight non-sheer. It actually has like a little bit of a sheen to it, which is really nice um, because it makes it a little bit dressier. It has a nice texture and feel to it. 68% rayon, 32% polyester. It almost has like a linen-y look to it, but with um, that slight slight sheen so it's a little bit of a dressier tank um relaxed fit i'm showing in the small so it's nice and relaxed you don't have to worry about it being too snug slightly longer in the back so you have that high low hemline and then this one is cute because it has a smocked back so while we're on the smocking talk it has the <laughs> smocked back that goes over your shoulder just a wee bit um, and then you have just that cute V detail on it. So it is very, very lightweight, relaxed, comfortable. If you need to wear blazers to work or those layers, you can't just wear tanks, but you don't want things that are real tight and clingy and heavyweight, this is a great option for you. And it's just cute. I mean, it's simple. Like throw on a fun earring um, and a fun sandal. What do I have on? The embossed seaside? Is that what this no, uh, sunny it's day not. Rest. Sunny day. We had one that was the same shape as this called the seaside. The sunny day um, in rust. So this is just a cute slip on sandal, but what a great combo for simplicity, but still really cute and put together. So loving this tank. True to size would be my recommendation. Those who are in between sizes, you have room to size down if you want to. Um, so that's not quite as relaxed, but it is intended to be a relaxed fit. And I have this paired with a new pair of Judy Blue Tummy Control Shark Bite Skinny Jeans. That's a mouthful. <laughs> so if y'all remember, we have Shark Bite Skinny Jeans. I'm sorry. We have Tummy Control Jeans. These are a new one that has the little shark bite detail at the bottom. So no distressing throughout the denim. Nothing up. Oh, a little bit on the back pocket. This pocket too? Nope, just the nope, one just pocket. The one. Just the one pocket, and then you have that cute shark bite, shark bite detail on there. Rise on these is a little bit of a higher rise. They're hitting me um, above my belly button. These are a 10.75 inch rise. We recommend when you are picking your jeans, if you know the rise or a pair that you have that you really like the rise, pay attention to what that actual number is. Not what the little tag here says because it's not consistent. Make sure that you're paying attention to the, the measurement that's listed. So 10.75 inch rise makes these a little bit of a higher rise, hitting me above the belly button. Now these are the tummy control. What's awesome about the tummy control is that it actually is a material that is sewn inside that the pockets are made out of that then connect at the zipper. So you don't actually have extra layers under there, anything that's like really you know, adding, but it helps smooth that belly out and give you that tummy control. Now, 
I'm going to say these are true duty blue sizing. I'm in my 728. The original tummy controls that were released, a lot of people opted to size down in. I would not recommend sizing down in this pair. Just by how the fit is, yes, they have Judy Blue stretch to them that we're used to. Um, they are a skinny jean, but they don't have that same extra stretch that we found in the original tummy control. So this one, stay true to size, do not size down in them. Stay in your normal Judy Blue size. Um, these, I would say, are between like a medium and dark wash for shade um, in them. And I just love the little bit of shark bite. So they are just a frayed hem on the back side with that shark bite detail on the front. So they are super cute, extremely comfortable, and they don't feel like you're wearing a girdle. Tummy control. Sometimes you think tummy control is going to feel like it's squishing me all day and I have to pee and all, you know, that. Like it doesn't do that. They're really comfortable and it is just that material that is actually the pocket. It connects to like where the zipper is at and on this side where the zipper is at and it just helps smooth. It has that elastic in it to help smooth things out. So they are fabulous. True to Judy Blue sizing. I'm in my normal size seven and I would not size down from this one. So Christine's going to come on out here. I do believe. Yes, she is. Yes, I am. Um... How does yours fit? Same. It has that snug back. No. Yeah, I wouldn't. It's the same. What you wouldn't want? I want size down. I wasn't gonna say size down. I was gonna say if you're busty, size up. Oh. Because here's my thought on this. Oh. That if you fill out more of this, it is gonna pull this armhole very. Tight. She's looking at herself in the window. <laughs> there are windows right here, and she's looking at her reflection. I'm just trying to gauge. You guys, you know that we don't put it on before the live, and we always want to give you the best sizing advice possible. And I'm in the extra large. I'm very comfortable in this. Again, I'm not very busty, and it does have that smocked back, but it's up high, right? So it's up above my shoulder blades. So it's not going to, when we're looking at it, it's not going to help where my bust is because <laughs> it's no, up it above there. It will make it air. pull funny if you're busty. Yeah, I That's think if true. you're busty, you're going to want to size up. I mean, I'm just trying to, <laughs> we have a friend who is much bustier than I am. And so every so often when she wants to see something on, I put a roll of paper towel <laughs> in the front of the shirt and then I send her pictures like that. And I think <laughs> if I'm filling this out anymore, I'm going to get some pulling right here under the arm that's going to be uncomfortable. So if you're busty, because this is a loose flowy, it's, if you stay in your true size, it's also going to lift it up, right? And it's going to get a little bit shorter. Size up one for busty girls. It's not going to hurt you. It's still going to give you that flow, but it won't cut under your arm because you won't be pulling it. So true to size or up one for busty is my recommendation. Yes. Yes. I like it. Yes, and Rachel's ready. Okay, and I'm going to do these real quick. Oh, yes. Do you want the t-shirt, too? Um, I'll, yeah, I'll do that. Now yeah. that I said it. Yeah. Now that I said it. <laughs> I don't know where to put this. Okay, so first up, you guys, um, we were waiting an exceptionally long time for these to arrive. Um, some things, graphic tees are made to order. Y'all remember, I think we were talking about, like, October, November, December, waiting ungodly amounts of time for things some christmas hoodies arrived after <laughs> christmas um and stuff like that so we've waited forever for these so they might not be perfectly seasoned for right now because i don't think it's hockey season anymore no. but we have this tea that we were like well we better release it because it's father's day come you know it's around the corner this one says best puckin dad ever so a little funny, a little cute. Um, best puck and dad ever. So if you are uh, have a hockey dad or if a hockey uncle that or a uncle that's a dad of hockey kid, grandpa, <laughs> whatever. Best puck and dad ever. Um, is super cute. This is a unisex fit. Now the picture of it as well as I they took forever to get here. I don't have a picture for a stock photo. So I took just a picture of the little logo. Unisex T on the gray. I will get a better picture posted on the website, but right now you're just going to see this little uh, section of it. Um, it's available in small through 3X. Unisex fit sizing, so runs true to men's t-shirt sizes. So releasing. Good timing for Father's Day for um, those puckin' dads. 
<laughs> those fucking dads. <laughs> dads. Um, it probably really sounds like I'm saying a naughty word. As well, as y'all know, our favorite shoes are Hollies and Wrens and Mumas and all of those fabulous shoes. Well, guess what? We brought in a guy's version for Father's Day, right? Good timing, huh? So this is called the Cade. It is the men's version of our most favorite lightweight slip-on sneakers. You can now snatch them up. I believe in men's, they're available in 9 through 11. So, no, I'm sorry, 9 through 14. Yes. 9 through 14 with some half sizes in between. Um, they are very true to size. Christine's husband, Ian, actually has a pair. Jake has some pair, has a couple pairs of them. We love them. They love them. And Jake has actually said he thinks they are more comfortable than his pairs of the competitor brand. <laughs> so, um, we love them. They are this great shade of gray, which makes them very versatile. We brought these in as just a little tester to see how they do. So we might end up bringing in some more if y'all like them. And then these are fabulous. Look at that cute flag on the back so again another good timing uh, for these to show up however good for your round jake has some with flags on them he wears them all the time ian does too ian, ian does too yeah ian them. has this pair right this exact yes, pair exact so pair. um the sole on them is not pure white which is nice for men so it's a little bit of like a creamy taupe tone i would say gray undertone to it uh so it's not white white then has the stars and stripes on the back these were actually, they're called the Cade, and they were made in honor of Cade, who was a part of the 173rd, what does it say? What is that when they're... Is it the... Fleet Troop? 173rd Airborne. Airborne, um, who passed away. So a very cute, very cute, very sweet tribute to him. Um, and if you all don't know, the shoes that we carry, the very G Gypsy Jazz, that brand, um, is actually ran by all vets so this was actually i believe the owner's son was Cade that they named these after oh, I didn't yeah know that. so cool little story background there but it's a company that is run by a whole bunch of vets when our rep comes he is a vet and lives in chicago and comes to hang out and we'll talk about his military days and that kind of thing so super cool very true to size both our husbands are size what christy knows their shoe size i don't 11 11, 11 and they are 11s in these no need to size flex at all the competitor brand only comes in whole sizes. These follow half size if they have a half size option, but otherwise both our guys wear 11 in them and they're very comfortable with or without sock. Jake wears them both ways. He actually put socks on with them the other day and I was like, take your socks off. <laughs> take your <laughs> socks off. I like them better without socks, but yes, true to size. So super cool. Make sure to snatch those up. Um, we, like I said, we're giving them a test run doing the guys version. So We'll see how they go. Um, we don't have tons and tons and tons of them because we're giving them a little test. So snatch them up before they are gone and then we'll see how they do and maybe bring in some more. So. Just popping your comment up. Okay. Sorry, babbled about that. Oh, and don't forget you guys, there is the Broteek section on the website that has men's wallets, um, the Duke Cannon goodies, the colognes, the different soaps and all that stuff. Great Father's Day gifts for the fathers who have everything. So there are some really good shopping options on there. Um, some cute ideas, some fun things, great graphic tees. We brought in a ton of graphic tees for the guys when we were in Mexico. So some cute options. Make sure to go to Featured Collections and the Broteek. That's how on the website what you're going to want to look for. Featured Collections Broteek to be able to shop all the Broteek items. So next up, you guys, is the Here in This Moment Top in Emerald. You've actually seen this before in... In, I believe a rust and clay. Cl I'm sorry, clay and a mustard. Mm -hmm. So clay and mustard. So this one is the emerald. It's been a while since we've had those others. Um, but how adorable is this linen? No, not linen feeling, but it has a cool texture to it. <laughs> this actually is like a knit, stretchy, kind of like, kind of like a t-shirt, but it's cotton, right? So. 64% cotton, 36% polyester for the front and body portion of this. And then the back is 100% rayon. The lace is 100% cotton. Where is their lace? I think they probably, probably mean what's on that. Yeah, that the, sleeve. On the sleeve. Yeah, this ribboning on the sleeve. So super cute, extremely comfortable. Dress it up, dress it down, wear it with, you know, a fun little slip on. You could definitely pull this off for, off for work and whatnot. I'm showing in the small 
definitely a relaxed fit. I will say in the other colorways, most people opted to size down one. Um, so that would be an option, but it has so many fun colors in the back that you can really pull in a lot of different things to accessorize with between your kind of your magenta, lavender, purple tones and the mustards, different shades of green. I can't see it. So um, I know we're months away. Cute. I'm months away from transitioning. But even into fall with olive pants, we've got those olive Judy blues that would just be adorable. With yeah. It. And then I threw on that raspberry gecko petal too to pull one of the colors from the back, but you can really do so much. So true to size for a relaxed fit. However, like I said, a lot of people did opt to size down on this. It just has so many little details. Like the material that's here on the arm, it has that like raglan style. That same material runs along the entire bottom. It does have some raw hens, raw details for just a fun little pop. You can see the raw details here. Um, and then the overlapping in the back that gives it a fun shape. So just a really cute top all around that you can wear a lot of different ways. So, okay, I'm gonna change. You go ahead and change. I'm gonna. You got some, you got some quick changes. Yeah. I do. Some, some quickies. Well, one. Well, all right, one. I did say transition. I'm the anti-transition, <laughs> aren't I? Yeah, and I just hard. brought it up. Don't say that word. I feel like I had to be the first to say it this season. <laughs> we won't say it again for another month or so, but I had to be, I had to be the first. Had to be. Is that so? Yes. Ooh, I love these with this. Ooh. Ooh. Fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. Um. Let's get ready to rumble. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. This is cute. Look at this little scallop neckline. Just this dainty little scallop here. Nothing crazy. Just a little scallop. That's fun. Um, okay, this is another blouse style top. Fully lined. That's a great detail. We love things that are lined. Little side slit. While I'm waiting for my comment, I'm going to point out all these little details. Um, okay, this is the Open Your Heart Leopard Tank, available in small through 3X. Uh, fabric content, 100% polyester on this one. Uh, definitely one that you can dress up or dress down. No stretch, okay? No stretch in this one. This is pretty fitted. You might even, can you see my bra? Maybe a little bit. It is It is pretty fitted. I personally would go up one in this, and I'm not extra busty. Um, but this is why we do these lives, right? So y'all can see. So a little bit of like an off-white background with your animal print. And then it's got some little, almost like speckles of like that taupey tone in there. So it's really cute. Um, I think, Christina, are you putting this on? No, I'm doing the emerald one. Okay. Um, but I would say... Hmm. I just really don't have much room here and I'm not chesty. I would personally suggest sizing up one in this one to give you some room across the busty, even if you are busty. Um, if you are like a size two, four, this is size small is going to be perfect for you. Um, and with just a slightly relaxed fit. You can see I have some room in the body, um, but across the bust, I do not have room. Um, and so super stinking cute comfortable fit and like I said 100% polyester but comfortable fit size up one to be real comfortable because otherwise it feels real snug across across my bust this would be cute with a blazer jean jacket worn alone black pants you could do a lot of different things with this one too um in that it can be dressed up or dressed down it's definitely more that polyester gives it a little bit more of a dressy feel uh so it's not going to be one that it's like you're wearing a t-shirt pairing it with a blazer and like can i pull this off together this is would be a great combo um to dress up so oh my goodness yes yeah but i think you're going to need to put it on because i feel Okay. I feel like it's, for me, I would need to go up to a medium in this one for some extra room across the bust, and I'm not busty. So, Christine's going to come on out here. Oh, the Better Be Me, that's the sandal I have on. Great, basic, black, cute sole, sub, arch support in the foot, um, true to size. These are fabulous. They are, they're a really, really good one for a go-to sandal. I'm always looking for, like, what can I throw on easy? Those I am, like, getting stabbed by every tag that could possibly stab me tonight. I'm 
I'm tough. Okay, so we're gonna go from a size up one to a size down one. <laughs> this is the true size on me. This is the extra large. We always pull what would be my true size, and then we make our recommendations off of that. You can see that there is plenty of room in this with that front flowy, with the back flowy. I'm comfortable in this. I think it's a cute fit. However, <laughs> we all like when we're able to drop down that one size tag number. There's enough room in here that I can easily drop down to the large. I will note this though. This would be my only caveat to dropping down. I have broad shoulders and there is not stretch in the material that's the raglan sleeve. So if you tend to have broader shoulders, that would be the only time that I would consider. I think that dropping down is going to pull that up a little bit. It's going to pull that fabric that doesn't have stretch. And so broader, wider shoulders don't drop down in this shirt. But thanks to swimming, <laughs> we have broad shoulders. Um, I could comfortably do it in the body. I think... I don't, I like it. I like it. I like the fit of this. So this is my true size. This is, what color is that actually? More green or teal? I would say more teal. It's called yeah. emerald, but I would definitely, I would definitely say, say more teal than Absolutely. a green. What about the armholes? There's room, not a ton of room. And again, because the fabric doesn't stretch, but we have had so many people size down that really broad shoulders is going to be the only reason that I would say without that stretch, you're not going to want to do it. 90% of the women that have purchased this top in any of the colors have sized down. It, there's room for a bust that's accommodating, so it's not going to be a bust issue that we're going to say if you're chesty, don't size down. There hasn't been an issue with the sleeve. I'm only mentioning just because I know a couple of people sometimes have requested or asked specifically about shoulder fit, and we mention where shoulder seams sit on us, and of course with a raglan style, you don't see that shoulder seam, so it's harder to say like, oh, you can see where it comes in a little bit, but... Broad shoulders would be the only reason that I would say don't size down. Hey, thank you. Did I talk that to death? Let me go get a shirt on that I'm going to tell you to size up. <laughs> that is why we do these. That is exactly why we do these. You know, sometimes it's frustrating because we want everything to be like... True to size, true to size, true to size. But like reality is, is that different materials, different cuts, different shapes, it changes it all. So... That is why we do this. All right. Next up, you guys. And don't worry, we got some more red, white, and blue stuff for you, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just have this little section here that's not. This is a beauty. This is called the Our Time Away dress, available in small through 3X. Just feeling all the details. Love this neckline for a nice, modest neckline. Love the little ruffle detail here and this print. Look at how gorgeous this paisley is with these different tones of the mauves and the tans. It's beautiful. Um, so I'm in my true size small dress. I have some room up top, very comfortable, would not size flex, great length on this, longer than finger length. So I think if you're somebody who you want to do a short dress, but you aren't hundred percent sure about length, this would be a great option <laughs> for you. I'm sorry, Christine just put on the tank that I said you need to size up in. <laughs> Was standing in a very flattering, <laughs> flattering position. <laughs> I think she agrees size up on that tank. Okay. Um, this dress, true to size though, like I said, nice fit across the bust. If you're extra busty, then I would recommend sizing up one. Otherwise, stay true to size. I'm not extra busty. Um, but look at how cute this little detail is in the back. I was just seeing like, I wonder if we loosen that tie, if it would give me more room, but it doesn't really because of where the tie is positioned. No, I think positioned I even higher. messed with that on yeah. the hanger so too. So cute little back on this one. Again, um, this sits like, right kind of at my regular, at my bra line. And with how the tie is, I don't think you can see my bra. Be one that was like just a little bit of adjusting. 
you can get away with wearing your regular bra on this. So I love that detail. And even if you saw a little bit of a nude bra under there, I don't know, that tie really kind of covers it. And then I don't think anybody would really notice a nude bra, especially with the color of this. It's not like it's going to pop out. Right so yeah, in. fully lined. So that's a great detail, has full lining on it and a slightly A-line fit. So it's a little bit of a roomy shift dress kind of shape, um, but very true to size, I would say. I'm showing in the small, I would say in this size. We're paired it with the Freedom Wedge here. I love the tans with the different tans in this dress, um, but you could definitely wear this with something, you know, a flat, if you're more comfortable in a flat shoe. Let me tell you fabric content. This is 100% polyester, so it doesn't have stretch to it, but definitely has that relaxed fit here throughout. And I love that little frill sleeve um, that you have on this one. So, true to size, I love this little ruffle that runs all the way around. Isn't that cute? It is very cute. I love this. Yeah, and it's not super ruffly. So if you're not a ruffle person, don't feel like it's over the top ruffles in your face. But I like, I really like this neckline. I think that it's cute. Um, and then that detail, how it goes to oh, the back. Oh, yeah. See, somebody just asked about cover garments. I'm not going to come out on camera yet. Turn around. See how she's got her bra showing a little bit? It's because that little ruffle. Oh. Look at that. Gone. Yeah. As long as you have everything in the right spot. Yeah, I kind of had it tuck, tucked up here too, I just noticed. So it must have been tucked all the way underneath that little ruffle. But yeah, regular bra and you're good to go. So true to size and I think Christine's going to come on out here. <laughs> they wanted to see. You guys, there's so many things I think about this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I have to go potty and I can't even breathe. I feel like a geisha that has been bound. <laughs> <laughs> I love this tank. It I love this tank, tank in one size up. <laughs> <laughs> it is adorable, but I mean, I couldn't get any flatter just. <laughs> Because it is so tight. <laughs> Size up one. It's comfortable everywhere else. It's comfortable. There's That's very room. cute. I love the scallop neckline. Size up one. I didn't even notice the scallop neckline. Because <laughs> it's pulled so tight. It might be because it's pulled so tight and no longer scallops. Oh, yeah, look, it just, it almost makes it look straight because it's pulling. So size up one in this. Everywhere else, it's super comfortable. Size up one. You guys, there was an ampersand like two and a half years ago that somebody asked if it would make you look slimmer. Actually, Cindy, you asked if it would make you look slimmer. And I put my true to size on and Rachel and I thought we were going to have to cut it off of me it certainly made me look slimmer because there wasn't any room for anything to move <laughs> i am having flashbacks right now there is nothing moving if i wanted to be wasn't it mulan that wanted to be a boy in the um army to go in her dad's spot she should have just worn this in her true size and nobody would have ever known <laughs> There would be no question. This is flat. Yeah, go up one size. Oh my god. Go up one size. It's a beautiful top. It is beautiful. Up one size. <laughs> I'm gonna drop your comment. Okay. Then, get try to get out of that. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and get out of it. I might be in the hallway for a minute. Oh. We might have to take an extra large out of the story. <laughs> yeah. Some things why we do this this is why we do this, this is why. That's exactly why we do this okay sorry that was a classic live oh my gosh it was hysterical <laughs> <laughs> oh i think there she was like i can't try anything else on this live because i, I can't know, get this i had to like pull it off of her inside out um okay you guys so next up is the sound of sunshine dress in black now this is the one that we talked about already came in gray y'all saw that one and i was in the small medium in the gray i am in the extra small small here in the black i did don't have time to change undergarments i did tuck my bra in on this one 
Um, but you guys, this is the best quality. I know we talked about the gray already, but we're going to talk about the black. It's been a while since we talked about that one. Ribbed material, super stretchy, great weight. Doesn't feel like it's clingy, like it's real thin. Great weight on this one pockets, little snack holes on this. Um, and so this one, I'm in the extra small, small size down and it absolutely is a better fit. Uh, the other one was real low here under my arm. Um, and in this one, I feel way more comfortable. I do like the pocket placement better. Um, one thing about pockets on dresses is that they, they do pucker sometimes. Like that is part of what we deal with when we wear dresses with pockets. This is absolutely adorable with a jean jacket. I'm going to put on this other one. Thoughts of you, I think, but look how cute this is with the jean jacket. Um, curved hemline on this one with that fun little side slit that doesn't go too high. It's right at my knee, so it's not real high, but this would be one that, so I'm a size eight and prefer the small, extra small slash small versus the small slash medium. So I don't tend to be an extra small person, like being a size eight. Um, however, when there is an option for that extra small slash small, it's typically because something runs a little bit roomy. Um, it isn't quite an extra small, but also fits a small. So this one, I would for sure do the extra small small. And Christine's going to come out so y'all can see her in this one as well. Um, but in the gray and the black, my preference would be to go with the extra small slash small. Extra small slash small. And if you like, if you are you know, hippie and you want to have that extra room. So it's not snug. Now super stretchy, right? Lots of stretch to this one. But if you just want to have that extra room, so it's not real fitted on your bum, then go with the small slash medium. But just keep in mind, if you're not real busty, you might have a little bit of a droopier underarm, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just going to make it probably a little bit more casual. That would be one of those. You might wear a tank under it, like wearing the nude, like that tank our seamless, reversible tanks underneath of this wouldn't be a bad option. If you want to make sure that you can wear your regular bra, that would be a cute option to throw on underneath this. I might actually put that pink one on just so I can see it real quick in a mirror. Christine's going to come out here so that I can put this tank on. <laughs> I'm going to come out here so that she can change. Look at me in a large, extra large that fits. <laughs> <laughs> so earlier in the gray, I did the one X. This is the large, extra large. I really am comfortable in either one. I'm going to say this though. I did select I did select sizes based on color. Because it's black, I think everything tends to just blend in and get a little disguised and hide a little bit better. I mean, even though those pockets are a little more hidden wearing the black, so I'm very comfortable in this large, extra large. Um, Earlier when I had the gray on, I said that I would choose the 1X because I carry the majority of my weight in my hips. In the gray, I probably would still do that because it's just going to camouflage where everything lays and where everything sits. Gosh, I feel like I still am bound even when I turn sideways. <laughs> I'm just stuck in here. Um, Okay, Rachel doesn't love the combo that she was no. going to do for you, so we're skipping it. Bad <laughs> idea, bad idea. Not every idea works out. No. Not everybody. Have you ever put an outfit together in your mind and it's <laughs> fabulous and then you put it on you're like, why didn't that work? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> why? So, no cami underneath this. Not this, but not that particular one. Not, well, yeah, and I think what it has, I, of course, didn't do anything with my bra straps. What it has to do with more is the fact that this is a racer back and the tank just has those black straps and so the dress came in a little just you know totally disregard yeah, that disregard whole thing. that suggestion. disregard that whole suggestion so black I would do large extra large gray I would do one X because it's just gonna hide a little more but I do is the same though don't but like Christine said that's just the personal preference the that's the cut is the cut in the black the cut in the gray large extra large is going to be the same 1X is going to be the same because I wanted to hide everything in gray. I would do the 1X in this black. I would do the large, extra large. The fit's going to be the same. If you're more of a 14, if you're a 12, do the large, extra large. If you don't carry your hip, your weight in your hips, do the large, extra large. That's just where I carry my weight. That's where the pockets hit. So to give myself a little more room and a little more confidence in it, that's why I would go with that size. 
You should see her getting ready back here, reaching under the camera. I think you can see me. Just reaching. <laughs> just reaching. Alright. Well, what is your favorite patriotic song? Um <laughs> I feel like this is how you should be ending the live this, Floyd River. This I love. <laughs> I love being patriotic. Um, and I'll tell you, I was going to sing to you, but I'll save you all. My favorite patriotic song is Lee Green, Proud to be an American, <laughs> which is on this shirt. Um, it says, Proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. I mean, I'm going to probably serenade to Christine and Ian after the she live will. is done. Um, because it is the best patriotic song with my... Party like it's 1776 koozie, <laughs> my glisten bracelet, my patriotic sunnies, my fun glitter, double O's. I love these. These are really great in the solid colors because you can wear them for 4th of July, Christmas, Valentine's Day. They also come in blue. If you have a team, a sports team that's red or blue, these are a cute option in that heavy glitter. So cute for now. Um, but let's talk about this tea. Heather Blue, Heather Navy, I guess would be more appropriate to say bella canvas tea um true to size that little bit of room here tri blend what are you drinking the candle now <laughs> oh, that was actually my beverage i've i've stolen one of those koozies now officially um <laughs> but unisex fit true to size super cute this could also be one for a man i don't I definitely yeah, think that a guy could go either could way yeah. um, with this one. So the cute star detail. And then, I mean, this is a fabulous song that men like too. Yes. Right? Yes. It's my favorite. So cute tee, unisex fit, true to size. Um, size up only if you like an oversized tee. But otherwise for men, true to size as well. Um, and what jeans do I have on? Howdy. <gasps> Howdy. I have the new frankenstein jeans on no okay so you guys these are adorable did you bring a pair of these back here because i, I want to show them up close i've been wearing them all night look at these adorable they're considered a boyfriend you like they're a little bit more of a girlfriend yeah i will concur with that christine agrees a little bit more of a girlfriend hi man howdy howdy so these are, look at this. They actually have howdy embroidered on them. How cute is that? And then look at this fun detail that goes down the side. Ian was bagging these today for us and he referred to them as the Frankenstein jeans <laughs> because of the stitching. You know, men just see things differently than we do. So that cute little stitch that goes down, a little bit of distressing at the knee and then um, a slightly frayed hem at the bottom. Now, Boyfriend fit. We talked about them. Boyfriend fit. Relaxed up top. Relaxed in the hips. These definitely feel more like a girlfriend fit. Relaxed mid thigh and down. Definitely relaxed in my knee and relaxed in my calf. I They're labeled a boyfriend fit, so I don't want to go against what Judy Blue has and call them a girlfriend fit on our website. But I'm going to tell you, fit-wise, I would say true to size. I, so I, I have been wearing them this evening and I drop down my one, like I choose to do with boyfriend and I regretted that decision. So Christine does a 15 <laughs> and most of the boyfriends, this one, she said she would prefer to stay in her 14 yes. W. So, and I would absolutely, I don't think I could go down to the five. I have a little bit of room up here. Like I should with Judy blues, you should have this amount of room. You should be able to fit your thumb in. Pull them about an inch or so, maybe even a little bit more, and have room. The jean has stretch. Stay true to size. Otherwise, you're going to totally lose that relaxed fit. And I think, like, going down to size, you're going to get some muffin, to muffin topping. So, um, inseam on these, 28-inch inseam, 10 and a half inch rise. Hitting me, you can kind of see, like, right at the top of my belly button. True to size. I love this detail down the side. I think they're such a fun Judy Blue with the Frankensteining down the side and the little howdy um embroidered on there on the on that pocket but yeah true to jewelry blue size these are fabulous i love them they're so comfortable and they're really great length so okay i'm going to um throw on my next outfit 
My next You time. go ahead and you throw on your next outfit. I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. We'll allow it. I'm proud to be an American. Oh, boy, y'all. She isn't even waiting for the, uh, for the live to end. <laughs> She's just gonna start now. We're gonna get uh, kicked out for copyright Oh, dear. Good thing you said that. Thinking. We probably would. Is These there a patch open. in the distressing on the knee? No, there is not a patch. No. It's just a... Yeah, no patch in there. Strangle. But it is, um, you know, like on the whole, keeping the integrity of the jean and the quality and all of that, we recommend if you want to keep this, this threading intact, when you wash them, wash them in a dryer bag or a, a washing machine slash dryer bag. So that way... This doesn't get caught. When you wash them in the washing machine, just by themselves, they get caught on other clothes, the zippers, the buttons, other things, which help make these break down quicker because they're getting knotted on stuff. And then also hang to dry. Whenever you dry things, you're breaking down those fibers some, and that heat does something to fibers. So dry or hanging to dry is always recommended to, again, help keep the integrity and the quality of the jean there. Um, okay. Next up is the Stay In Line Striped Tee. Man, I'm going to have to take these off and I really don't want to. <laughs> I can't see what color. I'm like, it's gray. No, <laughs> it's a gray tee. Just kidding. Um, it's a white, navy, and red striped. So this one is so cute because it's good for any time. Um, but it definitely gives you that patriotic feel. Sorry, I was ahead on a little crooked. Like, that's how I feel right now. Just, just a wee bit crooked. Um, so why don't we put it on straight? The lines are straight. Um, so just a cute, slightly relaxed fit. So you can see it has a nice fit up top, nice fit on the sleeves with good stretch, and then a relaxed body. I love the fit of this one, especially if you like a longer top. You, if you want to wear a legging, I think stay true to size and you could get away with wearing a legging or a capri with this one um, because it just hits me under the bum. And like I said, I'm 5'7", not extremely tall, but definitely, you know, taller side for girls. So nice length on this, very comfortable, like t-shirt weight, I would say, for feel. Um, very similar to like a Bella tee, that kind of feel to the fabric. It is not a baby French terry, which tends to be a little bit heavier weight. Um, this is 90% polyester, 7% rayon, 3% spandex. Like I said, nice fit here on the sleeve um, with stretch. So if you want, if you opt to size down, you can. Just keep in mind, it's going to make things a little bit more fitted throughout the, the top and your sleeve. But if you're in between those sizes, definitely with the body, how the fit is, you can go down one. But very cute. I love this. It I love this. Very cute. Red, white, and blue. It's not black. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. The theme for today. Yes. Because we're proud to be Americans. Because we are. America. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The ladder might explode. Sue, so we are just coming to the last outfit. It's always a little tricky for me to get start loading. Yeah, to start loading and get those last comments up and everything. And um try on a tea but if you want to send me a message so that i'm reminded i am happy to try it on and send you a picture over yeah i would say again if you're in between sizes you can surely go down in that one um don't forget you guys we have some really cute earrings on the site too little studs if you're not a dangly person um that's okay we still love you uh but there are stud options too <laughs> There are some cute little studded options. Oh, this one. Do you love the same percent? I, I bet everybody percent. else is going to love it. Choo. Well, how could they not? It's the best. You have to. Okay. Next up is the Ampersand Avenue Half Zip Hoodie in Star Spangled. This is available in extra small through 3X. As are all the Ampersands that we carry. Um, light heather gray background with the best little blue and red star details i have this one layered over a triple crisscross tank the same details on the triple crisscross tanks and same material as the reversible tanks they give a cute little something detail underneath whatever you have them um paired with so we love that 
This has a kangaroo pocket in the front where your hands touch, half zip, so you can wear it more open if you want. Um, triple stretch again on this one, 95% polyester, five, no, 95% cotton, 5% spandex. <laughs> oh, let me backtrack. 95% cotton, 5% spandex. Um, very true to Judy Blue, half zip sizing. Thumb holes on this one, red, white, and cute. Absolutely. Hoodie, of course, um, and all the, all the things we love about Ampersand. Like Christine said, these are just that wee bit lighter material, which are great for summertime when things are hotter. So um, here when we go watch the fireworks, we pack sweatshirts for everybody because you never know what you're going to get or how cool it gets in the evening. So love this one, true to size, size up if you like a roomier fit, um, if you like a little bit of extra room in your hips. And if you traditionally size up in your ampersand half zips, then I would say size up in this one as well, as it is that triple stretch with the same cut that we are used to. So cute little earrings. Don't forget to check. Featured collection new this week, uh, where you can find all the new goodies releasing today, as well as check out the America collection and the Brotique for Father's Day gift ideas and options and fun stuff and all that jazz. So we are going to go ahead and get new inventory loaded to shoprachelclark.com as well as our app. You can shop either place. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. Otherwise, we're going to get this loaded for y'all to just start your shopping. Thank you for spending your Wednesday with, uh, with us. We love being here with you and we love your interaction and just appreciate all of you. So um, have a great rest of the night and we'll see you soon. Happy shopping. Good night.